I'm Kay from Signpost Coaching Services and a welcome to our leadership blog. Today I just want to focus on uh, this this little, I don't know if you'd call it a cartoon or, or whatever, but it comes from lessons learned in life and I think it's quite interesting to look at this from a leadership perspective. It says, don't let anybody become a vacuum and suck the happiness out of you. Pull the plug. And that's a, that's a great message in terms of our own personal, our individual well-being about where our energy drains. And I know that you'll know stuff about two percenters and mood hoovers and energizers and radiators and drains and this is about looking at looking at that idea from a leadership perspective so if you think about rather than thinking about it as just an individual well-being um, tool look at it as potentially a discussion for your leadership team don't let anybody become a vacuum and suck the happiness out of you suck the energy suck the positivity suck the drive out of your leadership team pull the plug and pull the plug really for me is another way of saying if you're identifying that energy seepage that loss of happiness commitment purpose whatever then pull the plug is a call to action it's saying collectively what do we need to do about it? And I think it is worth looking at your organisation and thinking, do you have, you will have energisers and radiators, but you may have people who do pull energy out of your team or a sub-team within, within your organisation. And this is really saying... What you can do about it? Everybody's working incredibly hard, and we know that the pace of the way in which we work is only going to get faster. It has increased massively over the last 20 years, and there is no sign of it slowing down. So, one of the key things I think that we can usefully explore is not only the actual job of doing the tasks and, and, and turning up but how we maximise our capacity and how we maximise our energy. And part of that is about creating an energised and thriving climate and culture within your organisation or school. But part of it for me is about this, how do you pull the plug? How do you challenge those people or maybe sub-teams or departments who are actually an energy drain, a positivity drain in terms of your overall team. My thought is that if we don't challenge this, if we don't challenge where people are draining energy, we're actually missing a real opportunity to help our teams thrive, to increase our capacity and to therefore be able to make a difference to not only your teams and your organisation, but your pupils, your patients, your clients, your customers. So I think it's worth an explore as a leadership team. What do we do if we notice that there is a particular team, individual or group who are having a negative impact? How do we support them? But also, how do we challenge them to say this behaviour actually has a detrimental effect on your colleagues? It has a detrimental effect on our collective capacity. And I think it requires a bit of thought and a level of honesty and also some support for the people who are going to need to provide the support and challenge. But if you have those people who are taking energy out of your organisation, then I think a call to action and find and exploring ways to do something about it could really have a big impact for you. Not easy, but 
hopefully useful and interesting.